you can't bank sweat. Time waits for no one, as anyone rushing to the theater, train station, or airport will know, perhaps from bitter experience, although, strangely I have an uncanny knack of being able to be late, often too late, but overcome any difficulties with a smile, a confidence that it'll all work out just fine, and these opening lines, to somebody nearby, I wonder if you can help me? But, without going all scientific, time cannot be reversed, or drastically slowed down so we can fit more in, can it? I will often hear people say that they simply do not have time to put in the amount of effort they need to really get their online endeavors off of the ground. So why is it then that some people can? What I want to share with you today is a little process that could help you to get more done, a lot more done. Before we go any further, I'm not going to suggest you cancel your family holiday, try harder or chop the plug off the television to prevent reruns of soaps, quiz shows, and gardening programs. What the fascination is with Alan Titchmarsh I'll never know, but anyway I'm digressing, we all have 24 hours in the day, so what can you do to turn that same amount of time you already have into something that provides you with results you see, making money online can be very much a results business. Ultimately, your efforts will stand or fall on what you've got done, not on how busy you've been, or to put it more bluntly, as my old boss Mr. Peacock used to say, you can't bank sweat and I'm sure we can all think of a number of other organizations that would benefit from this reminder too, but don't worry, I'm not going go all corporate on you and start talking about the 80 slash 20 euro superscript 2 rule or picking the low-hanging fruit, I'll quite happily leave that kind of nonsense to the various apprentices that try Lord Sugar's patience on a weekly basis. However, you do need to have some idea of how long you are spending over the various elements of your online dealings now, she who must. Will tell you I used to find it very easy to get into one task or another, and not always achieve exactly what I planned to do apparently it's fault hashtag 723 euro superscript 2 on her scroll of my shortcomings, but, if like me, you can then identify which particular one of your online endeavors are taking up a disproportionate amount of your time. You could maybe run it against the following checklist. Do you need to do this task at all? Is it essential to your progress? For instance, doing research into your niche or keywords is absolutely key when setting up a campaign, perhaps, and time should be invested in this. However, if your website is completely ready to go but not yet online because you spent two weeks looking for the perfect background image, then that is lost time. Your website, you can't claw back that time that it wasn't online. Likewise, it is important to ensure your site are professional and of a high quality. But completing, finishing, and getting each of your projects working and earning money for you is critical. If the task is essential, is there another, easier, way of doing it? If you want to build your own website but are still struggling with HTML, PHP, or with getting to grips with Dreamweaver, perhaps it'd be easier to install something like WordPress instead? It's free and quite basic, but also pretty user-friendly, even to someone like me, with the most sparse of techie skills. And if you're still sending emails to your list from your own mail account, maybe you could think about using autoresponder software instead, if you're still struggling, can you get somebody else to do it? Yes, I know I go on about this a lot, but it's for a very good reason. My own efforts really compounded when I started getting other people to do the things I found boring or was particularly useless at. With a bit of research, maybe you can find an easier way of doing it, or maybe get somebody else to do it entirely.